If he needs to fly a plane, he'll have to use the municipal airport outside the town. Of course! Jenkins, how long does it take before that plane's going off? Well, about 12 seconds. I only need 20. To the airport! Are they gone? Yeah. Uh, huh. I thought Shadow 2 said he was gonna use blanks. Well, at least we had our bulletproof vests on. Our what? Ooh. Tell me again why we had to do this. I told you I owed Harold a favor. Well, Harold did say he just needed us to pretend to be betrayed by Shadow 2. And now that that's done, want to go see who can eat the most raw clams? What about my wounds? Oh, I got some disinfected spray and some toilet paper in my car. We'll get you wrapped up. Let's go. But what if they need our help? Huh, please. It's not like some big world-changing event is going to happen without us there. Yeah, you're right. I'm sure everything's gonna be fine. Let's go! It's begun! Oh no, we only have five minutes before the whole Earth is turned into paper! Behind- Oh my goodness! Ugh. Ugh. <sighs> Where am I? Patrick? Yeah, buddy? How is your fictional superhero standing in front of us right now? I know, I bet we're just dreaming. Patrick, we're not dreaming, everything else feels pretty real. Excuse me, but we're out of napkins at table five. five. Not now, telekinetic velociraptor, we're busy. Oh, five. Anyway, where were we? Commissioner, what's going on? And who is this very handsome starfish you're with? What? Oh, Commissioner, look out, it's the anchor and the money mangler. Mangle money? I never do such a cruel thing. And they're robbing this lower than average restaurant. Hey, who are you calling lower than average? Hey, uh, pit punch! Wait, no! What? Oh. 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 Stop! Those two aren't villains! Sure, Mr. Krabs' overpriced Krabby Patties could be considered robbing the customers, and Squibber does occasionally spit on children, but that's just part of their personalities! Yeah! Wait, if they're not evil, who are they? And where am I? You're in the Krusty Krab, located in Bikini Bottom. We're in the bottom half of a swimsuit? Exact. wait, wait, no, what? Um, oh, this is difficult. Maybe Sandy could help us out with this. All right, let's go! Okay, but if you're not Commissioner Squarepants, where is he? Uh, where am I? Wait, no, stay back, stay back! Ah! Fascinating. Another Patrick Star from a different dimension. Wait, you figured out my secret identity? Whoa, you weren't kidding. She really is smart. I don't get it. How can he be here? Patrick just made him up. He's here because Patrick didn't make him up. Somehow, Patrick's mind connected to another dimension. What Patrick thought was his own ideas was actually just something happening in another reality. I didn't know such thing. Actually, I think she was talking to me, Patrick. Oh, sorry, Patrick. No problem, Patrick. Look, I need help. I need to get back to my dimension and undoodle my world. But first, we need to find Commissioner Squarepants. I already scanned the ocean for him, but I can't seem to find him. It could be that because you went in the time machine at different times, you were brought to different dimensions. So how do we find out which dimension he's at? I'll just need a sample of your DNA. Oh, well, that's easy. You just need a little, like, uh, saliva or- <laughs> OH, SON OF A- Ah, I just had the worst dream. I was being chased by a giant knife and a stick of butter. Which is weird, because I don't feel like those two would work together like that. Well, also, the world got turned into a giant doodle. Luckily, it was all a dream. Oh. Well, some of it was. So the giant knife is real? 
No, the doodle pot, you idiot! Wait, DP? What are you doing in here with me? Shouldn't you be out there celebrating your victory? Harold, do you really think that I wanted to make the world a doodle? Yeah, no, yes? No! My plan was to get rich and leave. Doodlebub created that machine without me ever knowing. Hey, wait a minute. Why aren't we doodles? Well, all the machine did for me was separate me from Doodlebub. I'm not sure why you weren't affected, though. I can answer that for you. My machine managed to turn most of this world and its residents into doodles. However, if a person was touching paper, they were completely unaffected. So because Doodlebub is technically paper, and you were touching him, it left you completely unharmed. Yes, and many more were unaffected as well. Which is why I need you, dreaded Patrick. I need you to fix the machine, so that it turns everyone who wasn't affected into a doodle. And why would I do that? I'll let you travel to any other dimension of your choice. Intriguing. Fine, I'll help. What? By the way, why is Harold even still around? Oh, I was just busy and haven't gotten the opportunity to turn him into a duel yet. Let me fix that quick. Wait, what? Not so fast. Fixing your machine might be a two-person job. And no offense, but your doodles look to be a little less than ideal for the job. Fine. Alright. The Dementia Jumper Machine is fully functional. Thanks to Patrick Man's DNA, I was able to track down 20 dimensions that resonate similar genetics. Thanks again for that, Patrick Man. Yeah, thanks, but uh, about you ripping my arm off? Please don't do that again. But isn't it gonna take us forever to find Commissioner Squarepants in those dimensions? Not quite. This device will scan the dimension for Commissioner Squarepants. It'll only take a few seconds to figure out if he's there or not. Huh, let's rescue Commissioner Squarepants and save my dimension. Huh. Huh. All right, let's go. Yeah. Oh no, Plankton has finally stolen the Krabby Patty secret formula. Yes, and now I shall finally rule the world. <laughs> Nope, he's not here. To the next dimension! I'll just take that. Ouch. Nope, not here. You fellers, man, we're in the middle of a duel here. Hey. Oh, sorry. Nope, not here. In this dimension, people can only communicate through whistling. Really, because this place seems pretty normal. Huh? What the heck is that? Get out of here, get out of here! Whoa, what a strange world. Why, hey there, new friends. Ha, kill it, kill it with fire! Yarg! Ah! <laughs> How could you do this, DP? Fixing this machine for Doodlebob? Harold, how long have you known me? That depends. Do I have to subtract the 20 years we both thought each other was dead? You should know that I always have a plan. I have no intentions correcting this machine. I've been trying to find a way to shut it down. And how's that going? If I can create some kind of cancelling device, it could collapse the machine, but I don't have the resources here to make such a thing. So we need to escape, eh? Well, I guess we'll just have to- Hurry oh, Not exactly what I was planning. What's with all this noise? Where are you hopping down from? Is my machine ready? No, and it never will be, Doodlebub, because unlike you, I'm not an imbecile. You both just made a huge mistake. 
both? I didn't even say anything. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> It's about time they showed up. Alright everyone, execute attack number B7! Is that code for something? Yeah, it was in that pamphlet that I handed out. Sorry, I didn't read that. What? Who else didn't read my pamphlet? Uh, you know, I was busy, you know, Aquaman the movie too. <laughs> All that, yeah. Uh, just attack. Why did I even come to this? They're practically doing all the work. I heard there would be burritos. Come on, let's get out of here. Rodent, come on. Oh no. <laughs> so, you all managed to survive Doodlebob's machine. How? When Patrick Man hit me with his car, I flung into a paper store. And I was trying to get him out of the paper store when the machine hit. And what about all of you? Shouldn't you have died in that plane explosion? On the contrary, we had parachutes. We crash landed in this paper factory. Luckily I saw this all coming, thanks to my future vision. No you didn't, you were parking cars and crashed one into a print shop. I on the other hand, was unwrapping presents because my little nephew was too scarred to. Thanks a lot for that Patrick man. I would have been safe by the way. I'm always carrying some dollar bills around with me. I bet you're both wondering how I survived, eh? Uh, I'm sorry, who are you? What? I was Shadow Five's replacement. You know, with the mayor. Oh, right. I'm, uh, Philip, right? Uh, where's the mayor? Sadly, unlike me, he wasn't covered in toilet paper. I'm just gonna pretend I understood that. Anyway, how did you know where we were? We picked up your heat signatures. We were hoping that you were Patrick Man. By the way, where is Patrick Man? He wasn't doodleified, was he? Brickless over here sent him to another dimension. Hey, it was a good idea at the time. Good idea? How on earth is he supposed to get back here from whatever dimension you sent him to? Well, maybe he found some sort of intellectual mammal creature who knows how to make a dimensional traveling machine. Yeah, right. Huh, this world is, uh, very... monochromatic? We can't take it anymore! If I have to go through any more dimensions, I'm- I'm- I'm gonna- He's here! Wait, what? According to my scanner, Commissioner Squarepants is in this dimension. Fantastic! I wonder who here knows where he is. Huh. Huh. Hiya. Hey. Hey. By order of the great DA, you are under arrest for dimensional traveling. Oh great, let's just ask these guys. Excuse me, but have any of you guys seen a Spongebob around here? He looks a lot like the sponge uh, in the front of the boat. You will be given three seconds to surrender. Surrender? I don't know about you guys, but I'm not going back to jail. Patrick, how long have you had that? Oh, yeah. Ah, get her off me, get her off me! Uh, <laughs> uh. 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 Hey, stop right there, squirrel. Hey look, it's the boss. Officer Wrinkles, will you please move? You're blocking my view. Oh, sorry, boss. There we are. Albert, you're alive! I don't know what your relationship is with this old man, but remember, this is a different dimension. Oh, so you're saying the Albert in your dimension perished. Interesting. What? I do have many more questions for you. Butlers, tie them up and then we can get out of here. I don't think so, dreaded Albert. Well, if it isn't the Mighty Six, well, actually, you're the Mighty Three now, isn't that right? You're going down! 
Dr. Butler, please exterminate them. Exterminate. Hey, uh. Ah, my eyes. Wait, I'm wearing glasses. Oh. oh come at me, Robo Crabs. No thanks. I'm not really up for that. My friend, on the other hand. Huh? <laughs> One second thought. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Sandy! Release the butler 2.0. Retreat! Quick! Drive! But I don't have my boating license. Just drive! Ah! Anyway, I may not be Patrick Man, but I know how to take down Doodlebop's machine. Why should we listen to you? You're the whole reason we're in this mess to begin with! Because I'm the smartest person here. Huh, clearly he hasn't noticed me yet. Hey, I say we listen to him. I don't know about you guys, but I'm tired of living in this doodle world and having to eat paper burgers every day. Well, you know, if you close your eyes and just pretend they... Oh, it still tastes pretty bad. <laughs> Just like my wife's cooking, hoo hoo hoo. Hey, I can say that because she's a doodle. Uh, no, she's not. She's over there. Oh, fish paste. I've studied over Doodlebob's machine. If we can create some kind of neutron bomb and toss it into the machine, it should burn out the Astro Cube and power down it. Just tell us what you need and we'll get it. Alright, let's get started. Sorry. Ugh. Patrick Man? Commissioner Squarepants? You're okay! When your friend appeared in our dimension, it triggered an alarm at our headquarters. And then they came and got me before the butler showed up. Sadly, we were too late for you. Ugh. Whoa, you look like me! Right back at ya! What's with the bandages? Oh, I drove a car through a wall. No way, I just did the same thing! Yeah, yeah, you're the same. Can we talk about the matter at hand, please? Right, we need to rescue Sandy. Who's Sandy? Well, you know the rodent? Yeah? Imagine her, but with a vocabulary. Endless fangs. Oh. Hello, everyone. It's me, the dreaded Albert. This message goes out to the Mighty Three and those other dimensional travelers. Surrender Patrick Man to me, or the chipmunk chirps her last. I'm a squirrel, and we don't chirp! I'm sure the Mighty Three would hate to lose someone else. You have one hour. That bottom feeder! I don't get it. Who could Albert do something like this? We've been fighting this battle for years. The dreaded Albert's taken many of our fellow superheroes, but we won't let him take Randy! Sandy. Sandy. Hey, why don't we just go get back up with our dimension machine? You can't. The dreaded Albert has a machine that blocks people from leaving this dimension. When we go rescue your friend, we'll have to take that out as well. Well, this looks like a good time for our planning montage. And so I need you to go left and right. And next thing we're going to do, we're going to take a little up and down and turn him around. Next thing you know, not going to know what's hitting him. And that's when we bring in the giant marshmallow. We take him from the sky. We take him from below. We take him from the sides. And we take him from the other, other side. We do everything we can. And even if we struggle, we still will survive. And that is our plan. You do realize you just spit out absolute nonsense for 45 minutes, right? We need an actual plan. Okay, new plan. We get a tub of lard, three chickens, and several shock collars. On second thought, I think we'll just wing it. There. The bomb is completed. Great, because I know just how to get into Doodlebob's lair. <laughs> okay, time. For action. Oh, come on, it's been an hour. Patrick Man better get here quickly. Otherwise, I'm gonna miss Wheel of the Unfortunate. I hear this week's contestants are two homeless orphans. Oh, <laughs> hilarious.
Hey, boss. Patrick Man's here. Finally, bring him in. Albert, you're alive! Different dimensions. Oh, gosh, how do I keep forgetting? Uh, Patrick Man, I've been trying to get Miss Cheeks to tell me how she cracked interdimensional traveling. But alas, she refuses to talk. So perhaps I'll give her a little more incentive. Talk or your friend dies. I really wouldn't call us friends. I've only known him for about a half a day. Wow, do those friendship bracelets I made mean nothing to you? Tick-tock, Miss Cheeks. Wait, I have to say something. Albert, how could you do all this? Oh, uh, tell me, Master Star. Do you remember your first week as Patrick Man? Yeah, I saved Commissioner Jenkins, defeated the Dread Patrick, and flew off into the sunset. Well, that was until I fell 20 stories to the ground and landed in a trash can. In this dimension, it was your only week as Patrick Man. You went off to rescue Jenkins and stop the Dread Patrick, but he got the better of you. You died. Jenkins died. Even Lieutenant Squarepants died. Because you couldn't stop him. I blamed myself. Eventually, I was filled with so much rage, I hunted down the dreaded Patrick myself. And let's just say, I made him pay. So he gave you his helmet? <laughs> I would have taken cash. I mean, I ended him. Something awoke in me that day. Something wicked. So how did you create this huge army? Couldn't have done it with what I was paying you. <laughs> with your mother distraught from your death and your father missing, Star Industries thought it would be best if I took over. And using my new position and wealth, I was able to create the empire you see today. Obert, this isn't you. The Obert I knew was kind. He loved Wheel of Fortune, mowing the lawn, and some other third thing. And he always kept me in line. Well, I do have to admit, your Albert sounds like a real nice bloke. Say hi to him for me. Huh? No! Oh! That was some of the most reckless driving I've ever seen. How did we even end up on the roof? We were supposed to go through the wall. Not sure, I closed my eyes halfway through. Yeah, my eyes, my eyes! It's up to us now. Oh! Oh no, I gotta get out of here! <laughs> huh? Going somewhere? <laughs> huh. <laughs> 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 Alright, now let's get back to my dimension and save it from Doodlebob! Uh, I'll get you for this, Patrick man. Oh, hello, Mighty Three. You look... ravishing today. <laughs> what, what do you plan on doing with that broom? Wait, no, no, no! Uh-huh, uh-huh. Make sure you get my good side. Hana! Uh-huh, uh -huh, it's perfect. They're uh, doing what? Oh, there we go. That's the last of it. Time to blow Doodlebub's castle to the ground. Um, what are you wearing? It's my superhero costume. Are those Patman's old pajamas? Oh, come on, Starfish Man, focus on the battle. Hey, Theory, if we don't make it out of this, I just want to say you've been a pretty okay friend. And I just want to say boo ba boo schnibba da doo uh, why the heck did you say that? Because I wanted to. Oh, this is the day we've been waiting for, Mr. Scissors. Ready? Aim! Hey, we're back! Fire! Bombs ahoy! Literally. Ah! Was that... Patrick Man? Oh, hey, that wasn't too bad. My castle, you'll pay. Quick, everyone, fight back. I 
Hey, wait a minute. Why didn't I get a weapon? That's because you're what we like to call a necessary sacrifice. Wow, that sounds important. Right. Ah! Uh, wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. <laughs> Was that really necessary, or were you just sick of hearing his voice? Oh, come on, and you weren't? It was like nails on a chalkboard. Ah. Huh. Attack! <laughs> oh. Well, that wasn't exactly the welcoming I was expecting. Patrick Man, you're okay! PJ! Wait, why are you wearing Patman's pajamas? Forget it, where have you been? PJ, how are you not a doodle? Why is the droid Patrick helping you? And how did Evap survive that plane explosion? Okay, I'll tell you, but I have to make it quick. <gasps> if you were touching paper and Doodle Pop's machine activated, you weren't affected. The Dark Patrick never actually wanted to turn the world into the Doodle. That was just Doodle Pop controlling his brain and parachutes. Uh, one more time, please? There's no time! So what's our objective? Throw that bomb into Doodle Pop's machine. According to the Dark Patrick, it should shut off the machine and reverse everything. Then let's get it done. Well, what can we do? Just stay here for now. Come on, PJ, let's go. Oh, Spongebob's, I think I have an idea. Patrick, the last idea you had ended with Squidward's house on fire, and several newly disabled fish. No, no, this one's good. Hey, that actually is pretty good. Okay, we'll do it. <laughs> Stay back, I'm not afraid to cut you. Punch! Pit punch! Patrick Man, catch! Ugh. Get that bomb to the machine. We'll create a path for you. Okay! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> huh? End of the line, Patrick Man. No, not yet. With Neptune's swiftness away! Shot it by a little bit. Right now. See you later, Doodle Bob. No, no. Ah, I'm still here, and as long as I am, I'll turn you all into. Ah! Hooray! We did it. Huh? Hey PJ, I thought you said this was supposed to shut down once we threw the bomb in it. Why is it still going? PJ? Obey. 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 Wh what's going on? Come on, Patrick man. Did you really think that I didn't have anything up my sleeve? The bomb I made changed the machine's programming from having everyone obey Doodle Bob to everyone obeying me. Really? Because they don't really seem that brainwashed. Aquaman the movie is average at best. Oh my guppies, they really are brainwashed! Wait, why wasn't I affected? The machine only affects people from this dimension. I guess since you've been dimension hopping, it doesn't recognize you. No matter, I don't really care to control you anyways. Minions? Kill Patrick Man. Oh no. Well, it's a good thing we're not from this dimension. Commissioner Squarepants! Don't worry, Patrick Man. We brought backup. What happened? I was taking a shower! <laughs> beep, 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 beep. I don't reckon we'd be in a different dimension. Hi. I'm ready! Hey, what be that horrid thing? Uh. Oh. Attack! Ah! 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 Attack! By the way, try not to hurt them too much. Most of them are still my friends. 
What was that? <laughs> Will someone please just give me some clothes? <laughs> Sandy, can you stop it? Maybe. It's pretty advanced, even for me. Terry, I'm going up to Patrick, man. Cover me. Yes, sir, Mr. Dread Patrick, sir. No, <laughs> Terry, that's... Uh, useless. Huh. Huh. Oh, oh no, Sandy! Quick, does anyone have a pickle jar we can borrow? Don't worry, I always carry around a spare. No. <laughs> huh? Patrick Man, look out! Huh? Uh. Uh, what was with that guy this morning? I don't know, but I hope I never see him again. Hey! Huh, huh! Come, come! Mmm, yum. I don't have these where I live. Hey, those cost six dollars each. Really? And to think, I thought I was evil. Uh, that's it. Uh, yeah. I'm smarter than you. Uh, yeah. More powerful than you. Uh, and yet, I've had to spend the last three years trying to get rid of you. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. What's going on? Well, you're really getting your butt whooped out there, aren't you? Ober? Ober, you're alive! Please stop saying that. What happened? You fell unconscious during your fight. I'm not actually here. So, Master Star, how do you expect to get out of this one? Oh no. I can't do this without you. You were like my rock, and I was like a smaller rock next to you. I see your analogies have not gotten better since I died. I don't know if I can beat him. Sir, you've done it before. And you know how? By punching? Well, yes, but that's not it. The dreaded Patrick fights for power and control, but you fight for something greater. Your city, your friends, and your family. That is why you always beat him. Thanks, Albert. Or, mind, Albert. No problem, sir. Oh, so you should be waking up in about three, two, one. Uh, uh? I can't believe you actually got up from that. Uh, yeah. huh. You stopped my fist! How? Because I just got a movie villain's worst nightmare. And what's that? Advice from a dead mentor. Yeah. No. I won't lose. I will beat you. Mega pit. Oh no! I could really go for some donuts right about now. Oh great, we found you. We kind of have a problem. Uh, 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 what's going on? Using our combined brains, we think that we figured out how to stop the machine. Oh! We can't burn out the Astro Cube, but if we overheat it, we could get it to self-destruct. Great, do that! Yeah, but if it does explode, it would take out at least a third of the planet. Okay, but let's think. Which third are we talking about? Our third. Oh. I got it! You overheat it, and just before it explodes, we'll heave it into space. And how would we do that? Leave that to Plankton. And plus SpongeBob. Let's get started. Ready? Launch! What? Oh, we did it! What happened? Oh, these hot flashes are getting weirder and weirder. Uh. Uh. Mom, Dad, you're okay! What happened? Mom, you're alive! Uh, will somebody please tell me what happened? Uh. If you're looking for the culprit, he's to blame. DP? 
Hello, Maji. Been a while since we've seen each other without the masks on. How long has it been? Twelve years? About. Huh, that's funny. That's how old I am. Wait a minute! Alright, everyone. Victory party at the Pack Cave! Wait, no, we can't just brush past Transition. this! Transition! Do. That's how I single-handedly saved Patrick Man and the entire world. Right. Ooh, so you're the candy man, eh? They used to call me that back in college, but for, uh, different reasons. Woo, yeah! Whoa, whoa, whoa! I can't believe it, the mayor said he was gonna meet me here. Now I'm all alone. <gasps> oh, nice catch. I, I don't know how to react to this. Wow, you really invited everyone to this thing. Even people who didn't really do that much. Yeah, well, they all were affected by Doodlebob and the Dread Patrick, so it was the least I could do. I didn't even know you still had the Pack Cave. Yeah, I had it restored just in case the League of Stars met an untimely demise, and I'd have to fly it solo again. What was that? Nothing. Well, I'm gonna go hit the snack bar. Wanna come? We'll catch up in a little bit. Okay then, bye! Ghost. Well done, Master Star. Well done. Oh. Hey, Patrick Man, come on, join us! Yeah, I'll be there in a sec. Huh? Patrick Man, are you coming? I'm coming. Tell me, can you see? Whoa, it's a miracle! I can see! Yeah, next time you get jabbed in the eye with a fork, come to the hospital. Don't just put a Hello Kitty band-aid on it. Gotta admit, Perry, you're looking good. Thanks! Ooh, 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 you are hard to look at. What? You know what I look like before you went blind! Yeah, but I forgot. Well, Marcus, I need to do a speech about this whole doodle thing. What do you got for me? As much as I'd like to help you with that, sir, I kind of can't. You see, I'm resigning. I'm a bad boy now. Ready to go, Marcus? Oh, also, don't forget to sign those papers on your desk. Otherwise, something really bad is going to happen. See ya. Oh, there goes the best deputy mayor I've ever had. I'll never be able to replace him. Excuse me, but I'm here to apply for the janitor's position. Hmm, tell me, are you open to doing some very shady things? Uh, sure. He's perfect. So, you and DP, eh? It was a long time ago, Harold. Yeah, yeah, a long time ago. Probably has no meaning to you whatsoever. Um, sir, I'm feeling very uncomfortable. Do I really have to be here? The thing about this is a punishment for betraying me. Ugh. So, Margie, where's your kid at? I think he's off with Patrick. All right, Patrick kid, are you ready? I thought we agreed to Starboy. Yeah, we'll just finalize it later. Hey, look, it's the pet signal. Time to get going. Okay, I'm ready. With Neptune Swiftness, away! Um, Patrick Man, we still can't fly. Right. Oh! Oh! Not now, telekinetic bra. Not now, telekinetic bra. <laughs> oh, I hate. Oh, that. Mmm. Telekinetic blast rep. That is. That's a mouthful.